Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Mackenzie and today I am going to be doing a Shein haul. I am so excited because I have a huge box of things here from Shein. This is probably my best batch of pieces ever. There are only two things that I'm not huge fans of but will still be wearing. Um, so really awesome pieces and what I'm most excited about is this month I decided to do um, like a theme to the orders. So this month I chose all pieces that are perfect for recruitment with the exception of a couple of things. For those of you who don't know, recruitment is like sorority rush week and sororities are organizations that you can join on a college campus. It's a great way to meet people, get involved with the philanthropy and um, give back to the community while making friends and having a college experience. So by the time you are seeing this video, I might already be through recruitment. I'm not entirely sure. My recruitment here at Kent State University where I am a freshman is Saturday. Um, September 28th, Sunday, September 29th, and then the following week that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is bid day. So obviously I do not know the outcome of what is going to happen as of right now, but I picked some awesome pieces that I'm super excited about. My roommates helped me choose some things that would be perfect for recruitment. You do have to dress up and look a little bit nicer. So I have plenty of options. I should be best dressed by far thanks to this Shein order. So yeah, without further ado, let's hop right in. This was actually the first time I've ever ordered a graphic tee from Shein and I really like what I got. This says La Femme on it with some cheetah lips on it. I thought that this would be super cute with a midi skirt for recruitment. The first two days are pretty casual. They do not give you t-shirts here at Kent. You just like have to wear something a little more relaxed. I thought that this would be a cute option with a midi skirt. I got it in a size medium and it's a cute little, it's not super cropped, but it does have like that cropped fit to it where it's like boxier and I don't know, I really like this. The quality of it was really nice and I think it would be super cute with just jeans and mules too. The next top I got is like super hard for me to show like when I just hold it up, but you will be able to see it better in the try on portion. I love this top. I picked it up on a whim. It looks pretty tiny right now, but with high waisted jeans, I think that it would be a really cute option whether you're going out or just wearing it to school. It's got a little bit of a bishop sleeve, I believe is what this is called. It cinches right here. Um, I think this is super cute. You just put it on like as if you're putting on a cardigan and then it wraps around you. I love this color. I'm not usually a brown girl but this shade looked really beautiful on my skin tone I thought I hope they have this in other colors because I will be picking it up this was 95% rayon 5% spandex which is why it's so soft I have been seeing lots of these little camis lately and I was inspired to pick one up. I love the snakeskin and think that the little lace at the top is really cute. This with black jeans would be perfect for recruitment or you could wear it with black jeans just for like a night out. The straps on this are adjustable. I realized after I filmed the try on portion so it looks a little odd on me until then. Definitely tucked in because it is a little bit longer but I think this is adorable. This is probably my least favorite thing of the haul this month and I still like it. I will still wear this, um, just not my favorite like I would go for other pieces in this haul. This was not for recruitment, um, it just happened to be something that I picked up in this order. It is a turtleneck and it's got off white on the front with mustard sleeves and then a brown back and cuffs. I'm just not a huge fan of this chocolate brown, it kind of brings me back to 2008 days. And the cuff is really, really long, which is fine. Just not my favorite sweater, um, but still cute. I believe this is the last of the tops, and this is super cute. There's a ton of leopard in this haul. I'm just on a huge leopard kick, so ignore me. This top is very, very soft. It's 95% polyester, 5% spandex. Just a cute little crop top. It does have gray and black leopard and kind of like a bustier, but like there's not actual like wires or cups in it. It's just kind of the way that it's stitched like that. It's got a little bit of a thicker strap to it. This with black flares um, and a pair of like white shoes would be perfect for recruitment. You can get away with something like this as long as you do have on like a high-waisted jean with it to really counteract what you're wearing. Moving on, we've got some dresses. This is my the only other like dud from the haul that I just wasn't a huge fan of. 
This literally looks so cute on the girl in the picture and it just looks like, it makes me look like, you know a person from, um, Rudolph, like the big white animal, if he was gray, this is what he would look like, <laughs> like, um, my roommates were like, if you left it open, it would be kind of cute as a cardigan, but as a dress, it's just not flattering on. It's not as bad as you would think once it's on, but it's a wrap dress, you just put it on and then it cinches at the waist a little bit. Just not overly flattering, but it is very soft and a really cool texture to it, so... I don't know, I think that there's probably something that I can do with it. I could probably wear it to some type of like holiday party or wear it for a costume or something. So I'm gonna keep it, but I would pass on that one probably. Lots of dresses coming your way because dresses are super great for recruitment, sorority rush week, just because you have a couple of days where obviously prep day you're dressing up in a very nice dress and heels usually. And the other days you can wear something relaxed, um, something that you just feel comfortable in, they say. So I could wear one of those tops and jeans, I could wear a romper, I could wear a cute little dress and sneakers. There's a lot you could do, so I picked up some dresses that would be on the casual side and a couple of dresses that would be perfect if I was looking for something a little bit dressier. So this is one of those more casual dresses. I wouldn't wear this for prep day, but the leopard print is super trendy, it's cute. You're thinking like trendier, like cutesy fun for the first couple days, and then for prep day you want something a little more classic and elegant. These straps self-tie, which is great, and it is an elastic waistband right here, some little smocked detailing in the back, so just a super cute, easy dress to throw on. This with black mules, black platform sneakers is super cute. I'm 100% positive one of my roommates will be borrowing that. This next dress my roommate Lauren actually chose because she wanted it for one of the first days of recruitment and it's so cute. Just a little yellow and white paisley print. I fell in love with this when I tried it on. This is so me in a dress. Just like a little tiered ruffle baby doll feel. It's got, um, oh, I don't know what decade this is, but it's got like a really old school feel to it. I think that this is so cute and for the fall time, if you had on white booties and a hat with this, it would be so cute. This dress I am almost positive I will be wearing for one of the days. It's got a one shoulder detail and then the sleeve is like a big billowy bishop. The lighting is like so in and out in here. I'm sorry guys. But anyways, this is super cute. It's just got like a little cross front ruffle detail that's so adorable. I'm trying to vary my adjectives, bear with me. Just a little pale pink and white. I think that this is really retro, but yet it's still current and trendy. I know that this comes in a couple of other colors and I'm almost positive I'll be wearing this. I know that my roommate's style is more like something this with white chunky sneakers. For me, I'll probably wear white Jack Rogers and go for a really feminine look. This with like a pale pink lippy it would be perfect. I'm also seriously considering this blue romper for one day. It's got a very low V. I would have to pin it for this specific occasion, but it is a little bit big up top, I will say that. And it's got like solid blue shorts. The sleeves are huge bishop sleeves with pleats, and I love pleats. My sister's probably watching this and is like, ugh, Mackenzie and her pleats, Madison hates pleats, but I think that they're so cute. Um, this is 100% polyester. It's one of those like nicer feeling polyesters though. It feels expensive, um, for Shein at least. And I don't know, this is really well made. I like this a lot and it's got a belt around the waist to really suck you in. You could easily dress this up. You could dress this down. This is like perfect. This is the perfect mix of dressy and casual for something like this. Moving on, I've got quite the bit of pants and skirts, and I don't know, I think that they're just like an easy way for those first couple days where you don't necessarily need to be in a dress because that's super dressy, you just need to be in something that's like cute and fun. I think a skirt or like um, flowy pants are perfect for that, so I have a lot of options. This first one is a little leopard skirt. I probably would skip this for recruitment and wear this just like out because it is a little bit shorter than I had intended. It does zip up the entire way, which is fun. And it's got just a normal back. I usually do only get things that have an elastic waist from Shein, but lately 
I've just been like, okay, I'm going to try the zipper out because I've had some consistent 25 inch waist size pieces that fit me well. So I was like, all right, if it's 25 inches, I know that it's going to fit since I've been at college, especially. So this was perfect. I think that this was under $10. So seriously, you cannot beat that price. And I got this in a size extra small. I don't know if I've been saying sizes throughout this. I get an extra small or small in everything. I usually get the smallest size unless it's a sweater and then I always get a medium. These pants are like a silky, like they literally look like pajama pants, but like in the best way possible. If you want to wear sweatpants on a day to class or just ever, but you don't want to look like you're wearing sweatpants, you just need a pair of flowy pants like this. These are like a Dalmatian print, which is super in right now. A light cream with black little spots. I have a pair of shoes that look just like this from Dolce Vita, um, but these are super cute. They are very high waisted if you don't want the crotch to sit super low, which is how a lot of Shein pants are. Um, but love that elastic waist and it does come with a belt for the pants as well. I've got another fun pair of pleated pants and the color of this pair is so beautiful. Just like a silky pleated. They have more of like a lettuce hem along the bottom that makes them flare out a little bit which is super cute. Again, a very high waisted pair in order to keep that crotch from hanging super low. Um, you could leave them lower waisted and then I just feel like it makes your crotch look really weird. So I pull them up very high. Maybe that's TMI for some people but I know that that's what's really helpful about some sheen hauls. Like I want to know those things before I buy them. I would definitely still get these pants. They're very high quality. I think that they're super nice. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that is how the sizing is. I got an extra small and these also do not, these like do not have belt loops. It just has two like little straps. Is that what you call these? Two little ties. And anyways, they tie in the front in a belt. I got one midi skirt because like I said I thought that that leopard shirt from the beginning might be cute with this and black shoes for one of the first days of recruitment. Um, so this is like a black and gray leopard but on a white base of a skirt. This has like baby pleats in it but it's not pleated. Um, just a cute midi skirt. Midi skirt is modest and modest is best for this kind of event. So if you're looking for something recruitment you want to do a little bit dressier. If you can, you'd rather be overdressed than underdressed, is how I see it. My roommate Emma actually requested that I pick up this skirt for her and it's so cute on. I actually wasn't expecting to like this and then I tried it on and I was like, wow, she cute. Um, this is 100%, no, 65% polyester, 35% cotton. It's just a little black and white spotted print. It wraps a little bit, like it's not a wrap skirt, but it looks like it wraps and it's because it's got like this little cinched material on the left hand side. Super cute, little ruffle at the bottom. This is not an elastic waist, it is zippered, but it was a 25 and a half inch waist, I believe. In the try-on portion, I'm wearing a bodysuit throughout the entire like skirt and pant portion. And it's this bodysuit from Shein. It's a size extra small and it's like just a high neck black t-shirt that's ribbed. I really like this. I think it's a great basic and I like the way that it looks with a lot of those pieces. A bodysuit like this in any of the skirts and pants I just showed with like little black block heels, black platform sneakers, or black mules is like the perfect look for one of these recruitment days. Just throw a little hair scarf, scrunchie, or a pair of earrings on and you've really completed your whole look. So great option and this is under $10. I will probably be picking this up in white too because I really liked it. The last recruitment friendly thing I have is this little cardigan and this is so soft. Most Shein sweaters do not feel like this, I will be honest. This is 35% cotton, 65% polyester and it's so soft. A lot of their sweaters are acrylic, um, but it's got like a little bit of a texture to it. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up. And what I love about this is the furry pockets. I will not be putting this in the dryer because I like worry with this kind of material about putting it in there. Um, and I don't know, I just like don't want to ruin it so I'm just not going to risk it. You can kind of see like the glue right there or whatever that is, but I don't know, they're still cute. I think that with jeans and a top 
this is such a fun little touch to a normal cardigan or if it's chillier like I know a lot of people go through recruitment in the summertime but if you're going through it in the fall like we are here at Kent in October um, it is gonna be chillier if you have the morning shift so a cute cardigan like this will do just the trick So I actually had to put a couple of backup items in this order just in case something went out of stock and they ended up having to send all of the backup items. So these are not recruitment friendly. They are just three things that they sent. Um, I actually really like all of them and two of them my roommate Lauren requested and I love these. She was like, Mackenzie, these are kind of out of your comfort zone. They're not really your style, but like I really want them and I think they'd be fun to style. And this skirt is so good. One of our friends actually had this and wore it out. Utility style is super in right now. This is like a skirt, so it looks a lot shorter than it is, but no, it's not a skirt. What am I saying? It's got like a little underlay right here. So it looks like a skirt, but it's not really. Um, anyways, it's super cute. It's got a utility pocket right here. That's a real pocket and it's a really deep pocket. Like my whole hand fits in there. And it's got like that little seatbelt buckle clip that is really trendy right now. I don't know why I wasn't expecting to like this, but with the black bodysuit, like this is so cute. It is an elastic waist, but it also has a zipper too. Um, my 25 inch waist, this fits perfectly. I got a size extra small. All right, these pants, let's talk about these pants. I wanted to hate these pants because I was like, I'm not gonna like these, Lauren. And these are literally so cute. I think these are polyester based on the material, but I can't find the tag in this. Oh, there it is. This is 100% polyester. I'm getting so good with guessing the material of things. Like, I know now. Um, anyways, these are like joggers and they have a button at the top and these make you look so gosh darn skinny. Like these hit you at the perfect spot. It's got like a little silver buckle belt right there and they've got like a couple of cargo details along the side. Like there are two pockets that are real pockets and then that little like silver hook on either side. The bottoms are just like actual joggers so fully elastic and I love these. Like. These are so cute and I wanted to not like them. I was like, those are so not my style. Like I would not wear something like that, but I will 100% be wearing these. They are so cute. Um, so yeah, if you're wanting to try out the utility style that's been trending and was seen all over Fashion Week, pick these up. These are like under $15. You really can't be beat and you know what? It's, they're cute. All right guys, this last thing you're not ready for. This like silver coat came and I like put this in the order like on a whim not really thinking I would get it and they sent it and I like I have a love-hate relationship with it. It's huge because I got a size small and it's like really really big and part of me is like oh my god it makes me look like the Tin Man and other part is like it's so on trend and if I were in New York literally no one would think twice about me wearing this. Honestly no one would think twice about be wearing it here either. For those of you who don't know, Kent State is the number four fashion school in the United States and the fashion program here is huge. Like 50% of students here are probably here for fashion and there are people who wear some weird things, like really trendy, weird, out there pieces. Um, and this, I would totally fit right in if I wore this to class. So it's got a bright orange interior. It's really cute. I'm not sure how much I'll wear it if I'm being honest. Um, it is actually very warm, probably not warm enough for Ohio. But like until November, it would probably be warm enough. December, um, once it drops below 20 degrees, I would probably switch to like a real coat. But I don't know. I like this. I think it's fun. If you're trying to try, if you're wanting to try something that's different and out there, I think that Shein is the place to do it. If it's like something like this before you invest in something and spend a lot of money. I've got some accessories and the first one is a wig guys because we really are wanting to have a wig party here and don't ask me why but like they had this neon wig on Shein and I was like oh my god I need that and my mom is definitely watching this right now and is like Mackenzie and I'm like mom I needed this wig so I'm not gonna put it on right now you'll have to follow me on Instagram at style by Mackenzie to see what it looks like once I finally wear it to a wig party but it's super cute it's like a neon green um bob it's not very flattering on anyone's skin tone all of us have tried it on but like would you really expect this to look good on anyone it's not showing up um super bright like it's a lot brighter in person 
and I think when I wear it I might need to like cut this piece to make it bangs because like there's not that wide of a spot for the bangs but I don't know guys I think I'm really excited to wear this with all black to our wig party don't you think Lauren yes. she just walked in as I was filming I also have been on a major belt kick since I've been here. I think belts just really complete your look, especially if you're going out. So I ordered this like double ring belt. I have this in black and red as well. And I just got the clear version because I thought clear would be fun, it'd be trendy, and obviously it would match with everything. I have a purse from Shein that's this material. It's like this plasticky, I don't know, this this it has to just be plastic, right? I don't know, but I really like it. I think that this is super cute and this was under $3. I got two scarves because um, I love scarves. I think that they're adorable in your hair. They're cute on your bag. Um, I don't know, there's just a lot you can do with them and we wear them a lot here. So I got this one that's like snakeskin and it's got little off-white sides. Their scarves are like two or three dollars too, so you can't beat the price. Oh, this one's not like an actual scarf. This one's like a little scrunchy scarf, so you'd have to wear your hair up. I also thought that this hair scarf with that pink lip shirt that was the first item I shared would be really cute too. So I'm going to try and make that work for one of my first days of recruitment, and if not, I'll just have this super cute hair scarf. This is a really great way if you don't want to wash your hair and you just want to wear your hair up, um, just go with a hair scarf because you really can't go wrong and you can take this off and just have a leopard scrunchie and a regular scarf if you don't want it to be like a scrunchie hair scarf. The last thing I got I'm literally so excited about and it is a beret. No, not a beret. Oh my god, I can't talk. A cabbie hat. And I am such a hat person. I talk about it a lot on my vlog actually um, but I really don't wear hats very often just because I don't know I feel weird if I were to just like wear this kind of hat like to class but I think that they're so cute on and they really make for the perfect accessory when I'm shooting looks and stuff I left all my floppy hats at home and honestly I might bring one back because like when I go home for fall break because I really miss having hats here to style I think that they just add a lot to your fall look this one's like a leather one well, obviously a fake leather one, and I don't know, it's super cute. I just love it. I think it was the perfect touch, and I've already styled this in a couple of blog posts, and I got so many compliments. All right, everyone, that is going to be all for today's Shein haul. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and happy 11th anniversary to Shein. If you guys would like to score some money off your next purchase, be sure to check out the description code below. I will also leave it right here. I know it's different than my usual code, so I'm not exactly sure at the moment. But yeah, if you guys want to see how I'm styling these pieces and wearing them for recruitment, make sure that you head on over to my blog, stylebymckens.com, and subscribe for more. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.